A former hosiery mill is being repurposed in Fort Payne. Bailey Knitting Corp is turning into a sports training facility, but before it does, the mill's owners will give the socks found inside to those in need. News 19's Deidre Briscoe shows us the history of hosiery and F Fort Payne and how old buildings are being used for good. As the largest employer in the Fort Payne area in the early 1900s. It inspired other hosiery companies to come to town like Bailey Knit Corp, giving Fort Payne the title sock capital of the world. But many of those buildings were left behind unused. That's when Tony Hendon stepped in to purchase the old Bailey Knit Corp building and turned old to new, making the building a sports complex. It all started with a drive down the road uh, and happened to see that the, the building was for sale. And it's, it is an older uh, sock a former sock mill here in Fort Payne, Alabama. And, um, you know, I've always had a vision to have uh, a place uh, to go for sports facility training uh, indoors. To Hendon's surprise, he found around 3 million pairs of socks still inside the building after buying it. So to help others in need, he decided to give those socks away. Those socks will now go to Extended Arms Program. They say they were in search of socks when this fell in their lap. You, you know, we were handing out clothes and uh, I had about 30 pair of socks this particular day, and this was probably about a month ago, and, uh, but we had about 130 people, and it seemed like every one of them had asked for socks. It was a, it was a, a wet day, and um, when I left there, I felt almost defeated because I didn't have enough socks, you know? And so I just said, God, where is a good place for me to go to get a whole bunch of socks? And his prayers were answered tenfold. While some pairs will go to extended arms program, others in North Alabama are encouraged to grab a pair for groups who need them. Reporting in Fort Payne, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. And the owners are having a work day for people to help distribute pairs of socks. That's happening on Earth Day, April 22nd from 10 to 3. We have more information on WHNT.com.